What's going on, everybody? My name's Chris, and welcome back to another episode of Let's Play Golden Sun! Last time, we, um, extended our time trying to make it to this village just so we could have some different end music. And, uh, here we are in Alton. First things first, let's move this very obvious statue here. Whenever we see these weird warriors with slick back hair holding a sword, I'm gonna place them behind them. Alton PK. Hmm. I also got the Psy Crystal! Another very rare item and collectible. I like collecting collectible collectibles. Um, talk to this guy. Is this your first time to visit Alton? Must look like a, a lot like a cool town, huh? Yeah, I'd say so. I think that's by you. I've never even had a well in the old days. My speeding monsters are what waterlogged the monster. Or the, the village. What? <laughs> uh, I'd say anything else. Look how much Alton has changed. You certainly, you can't do much here until the water subsides. I don't know. You can Alton have the bad time? You're terribly unlucky, huh? Or the luckiest lad, depending on how you look at it, because I'm here to save all your problems, maybe. Solve all your problems. How could those creatures spit up so much water? It's almost like they're turning the air itself into water. Oh no. Oh no, well, I do follow my so I used to save my shop, 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 shop. If my goods are wet, I'll have to dry them out before I can sail them. Well, I mean, drying out stuff isn't that bad if it's not ruined, right? How oh, horrible, my house is totally coated in monster spit. I'm glad I saved my very first love letter, but else, what do I really think else? Wow. Her first love letter. Wow, okay, so the Sanctum is still safe. It was after that eerie night when the gems fell from the sky. I was on the water spewing beast appeared in the mine. Huh. Please save the helpless and Alton. Oh no! The helpless and Alton? I could do that. Maybe. If we could find the source of the flooding. Even the mine is submerged. No one could enter it. Yeah. Even the toughest of miners can't do much in this water. Yep, <laughs> unless they're just, you know, just gonna swim. There's some in here. No, there's not. Dang it. You just destroy the monsters. All the water should drain away. If the water... Uh, best... If the water beasts continue to flood us, our entire village will be submerged. Yeah, it looks like it's pretty damn close, actually. Also, I want to point out, there's all these gravestones up here. Why are there gravestones on the top of a town? That sounds like a horrible idea. If this, like... If this were to like collapse, it's like part of the cliff, a whole bunch of dead bodies that I'm spewing out. It's dis that's disgusting. Uh, do we have anything in here? Yeah, there is something farther in the in here. I'd give anything for someone to return all to this farm. You look pretty young, but if you are true warriors, please help us. I know they don't look so tough, but being warriors and all, maybe they could help us. This town really isn't just like huge despair. Like it sucks. This entire place is flooded. Do you want weapons? I'll sell you anything you want once the waters have receded. What in the world do we do to deserve this fate? This is what I talked to this guy in my practice file. I was like, wow, this place is so sad. If you want to say that if you saw my weapons, I wish I could show you. Cripes, is this how my weapon shop ends? As a sunken disaster? Cup of giant. I cook good food. Eat up. Oh, a chef from giant, giant huh? Uh, I became a cook after I came to Alton. <laughs> if I still cook well. In the oven. He's making shrimp and chili sauce. The shrimp looks so scrumptious in my mouth. Oh man, I love shrimp. He's making roast beef. Even the peppers look appetizing. Wow. I got a martin all over the place. Yeah! Cook it up! Cook it up! We got a little damp, but we're doing okay. We must count our blessings. After all, a lot of good people have been hurt in this flooding. We'll come through this alright, but I'm afraid the village is done for. Yeah, that sucks. That is they suck. Uh, there's a book entitled Alton, the Mining Village. Alton mines are famous for their beautiful gems, according to this book. Ooh, the guy from Vault that really wants gems, he should come here. Alright. Many people come up Silk Road to Alton. You're an odd one, you are. It's been a long time since I got a break from doing housework. <laughs> she just happy she doesn't have to housework. I hate sitting around like this, I'm gonna go home. Of course, you can't go west of the mountain without taking Silk Road. Yup, I don't know. I didn't talk to this guy. None of us can go home till the water subsides. Yeah, I mean, you could. I wouldn't recommend it, though. Most of the village is still submerged. It'll be a long time before Ultimate returns to its former glory, if at all ever. Of course, our house will be ruined now. I wish I could move away. And I finally have an excuse to move to my fair town, Toby! Talk to this guy. No matter what happens, I'll never abandon Alton. They've all done for Toby. Watch is crazy. I think it's insinuated that these two are like an item. And it's funny because it's like, ah, oh, one really wants to go tell me and the other one doesn't. Isaac, check the bed. One of the very few items you actually get from checking a bed. I think it's the second one in this game we've gotten. Interdesting. Very interdesting indeed. Alright, well, that's pretty much everyone I want to check. Should we sleep? I think we're okay. Oh! I was like, wait a minute, why do I have that? Why do I have growth and not heal? Heal, boy, heal! Hey, Garrett and uh, Isaac have the same life. I was gonna say Felix for a second, jeez. 
weird. Um, all right, talk to large breasted woman number five. Alton always used to run short of water, now we're flooded in. Either way, we just have bad luck when it comes to water. No kidding! Water's nice, but now it's on flooding your home. I'm gonna start to submerge, I'm gonna sell a little armor, but there's no way. Oh, there's an old lady up there. My armor inventory is rusting even as we speak. Yep, that's uh. Don't want no rusty armor. You can't drink the water that the monster spews. Disgusting! I'm not gonna ever slay these beasts. That, that, that's him. Ugh. Monsters spewed out all this water. It smells foul. Yeah, I wonder what that smells like. I can kind of like picture something in my, my mind. Yeah, it looks like it would be really goopy a while. You know, it's like you touch it and it would just like, it would be like all slimy. That's what I was looking for. You touch it and just slime on your hand forever. You see the old lady shake her head again. Absolutely disgusted. Yeah, these things are. Take a look at it. Like, what is that? What a horrifying beast. Frost? It can use synergy. Weird. This thing has little T Rex arms. <laughs> it also moves by jumping around. J -j 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 Jump around! It's like a weird monster. Like, it kind of looks like a Zora from the original Zelda, doesn't it? A little bit. So, it jumps up the ladder that I can't use. Why well, didn't even use Frost on that? I could just jumped across here to begin with. It ain't even do nothing. Alright. Unless that has any other cool moves it wants to do. Let's see if Corner did. Jeff Conroy brought this up in a video he's recently. What's with, like, Japanese and, like, monsters spewing water all the time? <laughs> uh. Let's put that on standby. Alright! These are the Living Stone! The Living Stone! And if I open up my notes real quick here, I was not prepared for this actually already. Living Statue! Oh, Living Stone. Wait, Living Stone? Is that what it was called? Living oh, Living Statue! Haha, <laughs> that's why. I'm a fool. I'm sorry. Uh, Living Statue! He's level 17, so we're getting up there in levels now. Um. Is I'll have to go through my attack stuff here. He has a 548 uh, HP, so quite a bit. He jumps 900 gold and 377 HP. He has a 100% chance of dropping a vial, and he can use Tundra and Water Blessing as his moves, as I'm sure we might see eventually here. Uh, I guess we can use Granite. So these are essentially uh, minor boss battles. Corona. Have you seen Corona yet? Well, we haven't run about to. Granite. I'm gonna use something that's not just a simple attack this time. <laughs> Especially because if he just did that, he just missed. Which I mean is good for me. That might be the first time we've seen Zephyr. Which, I mean, it would be great for me, but at the same time, I want to see newest. Oh, you idiots! You fool! And yeah, what a hideous looking guy. He has like wings or like, maybe like fins? I don't know, I just don't want to touch him. You, you, get him off me. You, 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 get him off me. Uh, yeah, I guess we'll heal. Wait, is anyone attacking this turn? I don't think so. Oh, well. This guy isn't. Oh, Isaac's time. This should actually probably kill him. Maybe. I mean, he has a from a, a, a large amount of. Wow, it didn't. No way. And it's again another turn, and he attacks again. Maybe. <laughs> I'm just guessing. What a blessing! There we go. Oh yeah, actually the uh, wow, 15 damage. Oh, we didn't wait. No, we didn't have. Granite at that time. Huh. Uh, he's Ragnarok. You could use Tiamat now. Okay, if this doesn't kill him, I will explode. Not really. Um. There we go. And dead. Great. Scares all 14 guard. Master of the guard's fireball. HP up by 8, PP by 3, attack by 4, defense by 1, agility by 4. You got 90 coins. You got a vial. Hi. And just like that, we got the Frost Jewel. You might be thinking to yourself, wait a minute, that sounds kind of familiar. We already have the ability to use frost. So what this does is exactly what it sounds like. Bestows frost when equipped. Anyone could learn frost as a secondary thing. I equipped it to Mia, because I think that's lame. I think they did that just to like take off the use of Mia using it all the time. 
since I guess Mia is kind of like meant to be like the healer in this game. But I don't know. I think that's weird. It's weirdly like too nice of the of Camelot, the game creators, uh, to do in my opinion. I don't know. I think it's weird. Anyways, head back outside here. The water has receded a little bit. Not a whole lot, but a little bit. You can see the top of the house is sticking out there. The waters around here have subsided. I wonder if the holes in the mine allow the water to drain. This must go away. The water recedes. Uh, maybe all the monsters disappear pretty soon. If you talk to anyone else, like where they were standing before, they say the same thing. So no one else really has any new, unique te text to say. We would have a few new things here. The monsters that did this were here right now. Give them such a smack. I'm just kidding. I'm opposed to all this violence. <laughs> Oh, don't smack him. <laughs> One blow's not enough. Jab, jab, hook. Then comes the uppercut. <laughs> That's funny. I like it. It's feisty. Um. All right. There is something here. I had a feeling. Uh, if we could. There we go. Oh, it's a girl. Oh no! Oh no! The whole house is soaked. But somehow you got a fire lit. It's gonna take a lot of work to this house back in shape. It actually doesn't look too bad. But if this happened, would you not? I mean, I guess it would depend how long like this stuff was underwater for. Like, you would need to trash, like, all, like, the, uh, um, the carpet. Do you think these pots would be all the place? Like, some stuff's, like, knocked over, but the chairs are, like, you know, they're at the table. They're just pushed over. <laughs> I just thought that was funny. Silly. Silly Bo Billy. Uh, is there anything in here? No, my goods were damaged. I'm gonna sell the, like, there's nothing. That sounds unlikely. A few things got damp, but shouldn't affect the quality, so you can use them without any worries. Maybe I'll put up a sign to explain it. That's probably a good idea. Alright, is that it? Uh, Lady in Town's first barrel in house. Okay, yep, that's that's it. So, now we actually get access to the mines. Alton Peak. Do, do, do. And we get the classical cave music, beautiful. Dan, at Dan, beautiful. Uh, another submerged part of the mine. Maybe we'll come back there tomorrow. I mean, tomorrow. <laughs> Eventually, wow. Where's my brain's, brain cells at? Uh, oh, there's actually new enemies here. I didn't even see that little tarantula. With a tarantula. Surprise! Um, Alright, let's go with the tarantula. There's actually a whole lot of new enemies in here. So, um, in here you can find bone fighters, which you've seen before and we're seeing right now. Dirge, apes. Uh, we can also find, well, the tarantulas. Uh, these guys are. Have you seen Neptune? Yes, we have. This is a new recording session, by the way, although it's being recorded many hours after. Um, in the same day, but just many hours afterwards, so. I'm kinda. Have you seen Tiamat? Yes, we have. We were discussing how I kind of like Kieran better. Hey, my dad. Uh, I think he's level 14, Master of the Magician Storm Ray. Oh, I gotta use Garrett's new move too. HP up by 7, maximum PV by 3, attack by 4, defense by 2, agility by 4, so 200, that's a sleep bomb. Uh, Tarantulas are level 13, they have 108 uh, hit points, they drop 81 gold and 58 experience points, they have a 6.25% chance of dropping an antidote, they can use poison fang, which could poison you, I think it was the first instance in this game where we could see poison. They can also use spider web, which will lose your defense by 25%, and in addition to all that, they could also attack, much like every single other enemy in this game. I don't think there's a single enemy in this game that can't do a normal attack. Uh, we're gonna heal, I think. I'm more scared about that bull, Ivan. You never know when he's gonna get the final blow. If no, find a blow. Uh, nope, nothing new in here. Not new in here. Uh, oh wait, no, never mind. I, uh, Isaac doesn't have anything new to use. Uh, you, however, you have fireball now. So it's an upgrade to fire. Uh, it has the same description. Attack with scorching fireball. It can attack instead of three like fire. It can attack all five enemies at once. But it also uses 12 PP. 12 PP. Mama me. And I've now storm ray. Let's try that out. Uh, it's, a, it's an upgrade to Storm. Attack with the Magnet Storm. It can attack three enemies just like the uh, Ray can. So it's just an upgrade version of Ray, exactly. And yeah, you don't have anything new, right? No, you can. Yeah, nothing's new here. You could use Douse, which I guess we could try. Um, we got that when we got the Douse gem. It's nothing special, but I'll show it off. Wow, kill that dirge in one hit. Good. Good. <laughs> Uh, kind of surprised something died from that. It's pretty sad, really. And here's the fireball. Ow. Cool. Everything dead. You got a net. Good. Good. So this is the first dungeon, or I get really confused. And I did just play this earlier tonight. Um, I knew there's gonna be something up there. Oh, rat fighters. Okay, we haven't seen these guys yet. 
each of these guys are level 13. I will go over the rest of their stats once I'm done going through the menus here. Alright, so level 13, they have 143 hit points each. They drop 83 gold and 63 uh, XP. They have a 3.125% chance of dropping a smoke bomb. They can use defense and then flee and normally attack. And that's it. They're very boring, lads. I also get the feeling they might be able to use smoke bombs as well, but I don't have that in my notes, so that might not be true. Um, yeah. Oh, I hear water being a speed. Here. That's a dirge. So many enemies, and yet I fight the same ones over and over again. Yeah, there's actually a whole lot of new enemies we can fight in here. Oh. Went the wrong way. Yeah, just the water is actually a bit of a different shade of blue than normal water you see in the game, so it's really gross. Ah, Slime Beast! The second upgrade. We've seen slimes. We've seen. There's a blue version. I don't remember what they were called now off the top of my head. They're gonna be easy to remember. Do you know Man, what am I doing here? Um, I'll go over the rest of them. The rest of the stats in a second. It's really sad. We really don't have any Jin to attack with. He's the only one with two attacks in. Wow, really? Anyways, at level 13, they have 99 hit points. They, ha they drop 77 gold uh, and 51 experience points. They have a 6.25% chance to drop an herb. They can use Sticky Poison, which poisons you, as you imagine. And they can use Speed sp Surge, which uh, gives them a chance to multiply to other um, slime beasts. Which we've seen before with other slime. That's nothing new there. Alright, there's a minecart there, but we're actually going to ignore that. We're going to hit this little switch. And you'll see... The wise would have seen since I didn't. Oh, you dodged. Look at the animation when they get like hit. Like, look at his eyeballs. They're all over the place. He has like a little mouth. <laughs> it's like a plaint, plaint splatter. You'll see the, the arrow switches, which is weird. <laughs> How's that work? They're just a sign. And if you jump in here. Whee! I love this a lot. Aha! Wahaha! And we made it to our second one of these guys. We're gonna save. Just because these guys can kind of suck. To fight sometimes. Um, let's not save a second time. How are you looking here? Nah, that should be okay. Yeah, let's go all in, shall we? Good. It is kind of um, a lot of times the best way to approach a boss is just by summon rushing it, and then having all your Jin on um, standby, and then just using all of them at once. I don't really like doing that. It makes things too easy, to be honest. Uh, we'll do attack. We'll do agility, in case we need to heal someone. And we'll try and pump the sweep of mist. Whee! That's a lot of agility points, man. Same mini agilities. And sleepy. Yes! Oh, I'm not surprised that worked. I mean, they're much more. They look much more intimidating than they actually are, I guess. But still, I'd much rather. Oh, man. Well, I guess I'll do it just to set it. Um, this guy might not even wake up before I kill him, to be honest. Let's just uh, let's attack with all we got now. Aw, oh, single attack with Gust. <laughs> we revived ourselves! Yay! Sweet. Oh, he woke up. Well, uh, that's okay. It makes things more fun. More injured this thing. Um, <laughs> let's buff this turn. Uh, he has a higher chance to attack the middle people, so let's, uh, use that. Just based on statistics, if you use, like, a multi-person attack. And since Ivan is our weakest guy, it's actually, you can actually switch to Orton what your party members are, so it doesn't have to be Isaac, then Garrett, then Ivan, then Mia. You can switch it to whatever way you want. Actually, maybe I'll show that once they're out of battle here. I never really thought to show that before, but, I mean, I, I, I very well could. So it has a crap set. Indeed. Alright, he's gonna die very quickly. Wow, kind of surprised he even stepped to that. Spit them seeds out! What a weird attack. Grows vines, and then he falls down. <laughs> and there we go! Second slime, our water beast taken care of. So if we actually order our statistics here, we can rearrange. You see that I press L and R to rearrange. So if we put like Isaac over here, like me at the front for some reason. It would actually be wise to have. Ivan, right, Ivan at the end just because it's a lower chance of being attacked. There we go. Wait a minute. No, I want it this way. There we go. Now they're all mixed up. Maybe we'll do like a battle with, with them like this. Oh 
Man, I wish I could get all the minecart right by the ladder. Gosh dang it! <laughs> Sorry, that's my running face. And you can see, now it's Mia, Gare, I Isaac, then Ivan, which is weird. Uh, okay, there's nothing new here, actually. So this is actually pretty wise to do, just for, like, you know, putting Ivan, or whoever your weakest guy might be, most likely gonna be Ivan. Just putting him on the end, just because of, you know, lower chance of him being attacked. Not by a whole lot, but still. If, the, if enemies are using, like, multi-attack things, chances are it's gonna hit one of the middle two people. Actually, it's gonna have to hit one of the middle two people. So... Or at least one of them, I should say. And of course, he goes after Ivan anyways, right after I said that lower chance. Great. <laughs> uh, he's now level 15 water seer. HP up by 7, PV 3, attack 4, defense 2, agility 3. There we go, correct. Great! Um, okay, we, we showed that. Now we're gonna return it to that because OCD makes my brain hurt. I don't really have OCD, I have OCD like tendencies. God damn, there's a ladder on this side! Would that have been quicker? I'm not entirely sure. Anyways, as you can see, there's actually a treasure chest here, but there's a boulder in the way. Oh, interesting! When you click on it, it doesn't tell you that it's a boulder. Even Iron Strength cannot move like it did uh, at the beginning of the game. Can't do anything about this for now. So, uh, what we want to do is we actually want to retreat out of here, just for convenience sake. So, where we want to go next is actually near the start of this place. But anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed, the best way to support me is by leaving a like, subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. In the next one, we'll continue to explore Alton Peak and see if we could uh, destroy more of these stat living statue monsters. Goodbye!